Hello everyone, Alex is Star Tony here, back with another video. Let's talk about two subjects. Paul Heyman thinks that The Rock is open to fight Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is open to fight The Rock for the title. Subject number two, Tamina possibly joining the bloodline. Let's discuss these two subjects. First subject is Paul Heyman thinks say that The Rock Roman Reigns could happen because Roman Reigns is open to fight against The Rock at WrestleMania 39 for a title match. Um, anything can happen. The Rock could decide Survivor Series, the perfect pay-per-view we could fight. Um, or Saudi Arabia pay-per-view, which is unlikely for now. Um, then WrestleMania 39, which is at Hollywood. California. Well, Inglewood, California. They just try to bring the Hollywood gimmick to WrestleMania 39. Um, should The Rock face Roman Reigns for the title? Am I open for that? Somewhat, but I meant different. I will tell you why. The Rock's supposed to be retired from wrestling. He's supposed to be in Hollywood. And Roman Reigns saying he will be open... The Rock for the title. That's just for him winning the match. The Rock is known for to lose this wrestler just to boost their confidence, like he did with The Rock into with Brock Lesnar in 2002, SummerSlam, that he decided to leave for Hollywood and let Brock Lesnar take the torch from The Rock to take to take over SmackDown. Stuff like that. Um, same thing will happen to Roman Reigns. He will lose to Roman Reigns. And pass the torch to him as the new Rock. You know? He will never be like the Rock. Of course not. But passing the torch type of way. You know? Um, the Rock has helped Roman Reigns a lot since Resume uh, Royal Rumble 2015. So... And we all know what that have happened to that pay-per-view. It was very bad, very bad ending. Daniel Bryan said that Roman Reigns winning the Rumble was a bad idea from the start. The Rock has helped Roman Reigns go to the top. Even Matt Riddle can see it with a close eyes that Roman Reigns is at the top because of the Rock bloodline relatives. And that we go to the second subject. Tamina joining the bloodline. Tamina joining the bloodline is interesting idea. Then again, Naomi wanted to join the bloodline. But that never happened because she got suspended. And she decided to side with Sasha Banks to backcate the Women's Tag Team Championship. Because they deserve better. Um... Tamina joining the bloodline would make sense because Tamina used to be with the Usos when her first debut. Um, it makes sense. It makes sense. Tamina is supposed to be a heel right now. She's supposed to be a serious female competitor. Um, she is the daughter of a legend. I think she deserves a push. I think she deserves... To be a heel of the female bloodline group, you know. If she able to join the bloodline, the female bloodline of the group, you know. It makes sense, it makes sense. Naomi could join to help Tamina to become a women's tag team champion again. But I don't think that will ever happen again. Again, Naomi could return. People say she was manipulated by Sasha Banks, but we can't confirm that. There's numerous reports of this story. And I don't think Neo mean was manipulated. I think she signed joining with Sasha Banks. But if she is unsuspended, wants to join the bloodline like Tamina wants to, possibly they could dominate the the each like their um, just like the Usos, you know, just like the Usos. And the Bloodline could be the most dangerous group of this era. 
it makes sense. It would make sense. They're the biggest heels right now. Roman Reigns is is the big heel. He has brought a lot of Reigns. He has brought many fans to to in. He somewhat hated by some fans, John Cena fans and Castle of the the e fans. Mostly children. Children will automatically hate you no matter what. If you are a baby face, they will like you. If you're a heel, they will hate you. That's how kids see wrestling. When I was a kid, I always thought Chris Jericho was an ass. You know, I always thought he was self. Same thing goes with Triple H back in 2003 and 2004. A manipulator, liar, cocky guy trying to be powerful and rich in the company nip nipping his evolution group thinking they will go to the top then later they get betrayed by triple h cockiness egotistical selfishness for the belt wants to be on the top Th that's how children see wrestling to hate on wrestlers edge was one of those people that you wanted to hate the most when you were a kid and Roman Reigns is doing a good job at portraying as himself as a bad guy. Okay, I have seen people cheer for Roman Reigns because, well, he's he's good in the mic now, and it's hard to rule against him. But when he did to Brock Lesnar, made me lose a little bit of respect for him. Of course, it was weak that he needed the Usos to win, and. You know, it made him weak. So what do you guys think? Should The Rock face Roman Reigns for the title? Should The Rock decide to decline? Should The Rock pass the torch to Roman Reigns? I, I, He will lose, okay? The Rock will lose. He retired for wrestling. And him going back for one more match. Um, He's going to, to lose. This is not 2013 that he came back, he beat CM Punk for the title and and decided to face John Cena with the belt, WrestleMania 29 and, you know, and left. But this time The Rock is retired, he got nothing to prove and he would definitely will lose Roman Reigns. He will be like, sure, I'll face Roman Reigns for the title. But I would lose to him. I'd rather see Cody Rose face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 39 for the title. Because at least Cody Rose will fight Roman Reigns for real. For real, okay? He's not going to say, ah, I'm going to pass the torch to Roman Reigns. i go let him win. No. I want Cody Rose or Seth Rollins to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 39. Not The Rock. If it's The Rock, it should be a non-title match. For a title match that Roman Reigns is open to, makes no sense. Why The Rock will face Roman Reigns for the title when he's retired and be in Hollywood? That's his new job, Hollywood. You know? This isn't the same Rock from 2002 or 2001. This is a different Rock. Okay? The Rock is 50 years old. He looks amazing, but his body is saying no more. One more match for The Rock, WrestleMania 39. And that will be the end. As for Tamina joining the bloodline, it would be interesting. But it would be interesting if Naomi came back and decided to team up with Tamina and make the bloodline the dangerous group at any division, women's division and men's division. But Naomi is still suspended or trying to come back. As of now, Tamina should not join the bloodline right now until Naomi returns either to help the bloodline or decide to go solo career again. It may be tag team with Tamina, with Tamina is actually going to join the bloodline. It may be the bloodline could have Tamina and possible Naomi. That should be interesting, I guess. So what do you guys think? Do you like the, the idea of Tamina joining the bloodline? 
Well, you guys, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the ring side. Peace. Like, comment, and subscribe.